as we begin this last day of February 2022, this is a call for celebration unto our God for His goodness. We have experienced enough problems, troubles since the beginning of this year to take us out of this life. But God, His grace and His mercy is keeping us. And so the call is still to praise God and give thanks from whom all blessings flow. God has been good to us. And for this, we ought to give Him praise. Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. And I'm grateful if you've chosen to join me again this morning, where we can give God thanks for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And we're right back at Psalm 113, verse 7 through 9. And it reads, he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the needy out of the downhill that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of the people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. The word of God to the people of God. This is what the Lord is still doing in the season. God is still moving miraculously with his power. We give God thanks that nothing can stop his power from operating. And we can experience God, but we must look to him. We can experience His power and His might, but we must depend upon Him. Sometimes we may think that it's because of our smarts or because of our wealth. And even so, if that's the case, it is because God has allowed it. It is God who gives us the increase. It is God who blesses us always. And for that, we ought to give him praise. Zechariah reminds us, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Because of God's goodness, we are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. We are a peculiar people, and we are called to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. And so we can come boldly to the throne of grace where we can obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let's go out in February praising God lifting him up, make a blaze. We will never see this month again. We will not see this day again. So let's make good and give our God praise for all that he has done, doing and will continue to do in our lives. And for those of us who are struggling, God gives children to the barren woman and he makes her a mother of children. Remember Zachariah? He was told that his wife would have a child. She was old, he was old, but God provided. And if it was not a John, it would not have been Jesus. Let's honor God today because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever and he's worthy to be praised. Father, we honor you this morning. We give you thanks for allowing us to see this final day in February 2022. For this we give you praise. How great is our God. And so we thank you for giving us everything 
that we need that pertains unto life and godliness. May we honor you with the fruit of our lips. May we honor you with a lifestyle today of thanksgiving and gratitude, of love giving and sharing. We thank you for families everywhere. We praise you for our children, our spouses. We give you thanks that you've given us all that we need and we can look to you. So we commend those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament. We pray for humility in the fear of God, in leadership, knowing that it's God who puts up and it's God who takes down. And we give you thanks. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We commend the leaders everywhere. Those who lead in politics, those who lead in medical profession, those who lead in education. We commend today those who lead in the body of Christ. We commend today and we say, let your will be done. And we give you praise for the peace of Jerusalem. Cause peace even now to come in the hearts of your people. That we are not anxious. Oh, but we are careful to give praise to you and thanks because the Lord is coming soon. We thank you, hallelujah, that you are on your way and you will take us where you are and we will be with you forever. But as long as we're living, help us to praise you, to live a life of praise unto you. This we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and keep you today as we praise out February, giving thanks to God for his goodness towards us. Have a great praise day in the Lord. Amen.